Hello, and welcome back to day 31 of 31 Days of Craftoween. We made it! I'm kind of shocked, actually. <laughs> In this series, we've been making an altar book, Halloween junk journal, and every day we've been pulling mystery figures. We started with The Nightmare Before Christmas with the advent calendar, took us through day 24, and then we came to these um, mystery, not, not really figures, but items inspired by Universal Monsters. And we've got three items left. And since today's the last day, I think we should just open all three of them. Okay, uh, we have a sticker with Frankenstein and his bride. Uh, not something I can use, so I'll give it away to one of my kiddos. I just want to toss it into my rolling cart that I take to school, and it hit the side of the cart and cracked open. <laughs> I'll go pick it up in a minute. Okay, this one is a bracelet that says The Wolfman. Again, probably something I'll give away to my kiddos, but kind of a fun item there. I do like the purple on black. And the third one is... Ooh, it's a pin says Dracula. Now this is something I will keep because I do have a bunch of pin banners and things that I keep enamel pins on so that will be fun. I have four Vampire Academy novels holding this up so that it's kind of even. It's still not quite there. So this is our day 31 page. You can see we've got blank pages to work with. I do have these two end papers. Depending on what I am doing, I might cover these and decorate them with an additional just for fun spread, um, or I might glue this down and just call it good. I have been thinking about what to do on this last day for a long time. Nightmare Before Christmas has been kind of a thing uh, in this journal, so it could be something to do with that, but the other day I kind of got bored and I made something and that has shifted direction. So this is not gonna be a Nightmare Before Christmas page. Uh, maybe that means that I will keep this one available to do something Nightmare Before Christmas on so that we wrap up on that. We'll see. But this is our 31 spread and we're going to do something specific. Are you ready? I don't know if you are. In sleep he sang to me, in dreams he came. That voice which calls to me and speaks my name. <laughs> at the beginning of this series, I showed you this very plain black Halloween mask that I picked up at Walmart. And the other day when I was bored, I just started decorating it with um, black and white things, technically cream colored, but we are allowing cream as white in this series. And so we've got a flower and then some little bows with white pearls on them in the middle of the flower. We've got black glittery ribbon, we've got black chains, a couple different black embellishing accents here as well as the cream ruffle. I did sew the ruffle myself. I was quite proud of myself. I made that out of some wire ribbon. This is gonna go on this spread. Um, in order to get the book to close, it's gotta be all the way onto this page. So do I want it at an angle or do I want it like this? Ooh, I kinda like it like that. But then if I have it on the angle, the chains will hang better. What do you think? Why can't I hear you? What do you think? <laughs> oh, I think angle is the way to go. I do want to have some kind of background underneath this just so there's some interest popping out from behind the eye holes. And then, of course, we'll need to do something here. Luckily for me, I have quite a bit of ephemera that is opera related. So this is going to be a Phantom of the Opera spread. I have some vintage sheet music, which will go down first. And then from a book about collector's items, I have a couple different things. This is a program for the Royal Opera. This one is a photograph of a bunch of different opera singers, apparently. Um, that I'm not as interested in as I am in this record right here. It is Don Juan, and it, those of you who know the story, um, of the Phantom of the Opera, he writes an opera called Dong Wan. Here we have a bunch of different um, opera items, for example, programs. Uh, this is librettos, which are the text, the words of the opera. And this, 
look at this photograph oh my goodness this is an opera star perhaps this is christine Daae a little bit uh later in life not super old but still like older than she was during that whole phantom mess <laughs> so we've definitely got some things to work with and play with here Okay, I think we are done. I did some hand lettering in Sleep He Sang to Me and Dreams He Came. We also have this sticker here that says Masquerade. The mask is down with the sheet music peeking through. We've got our opera singer and a libretto as well as the Don Juan record. So I'm ready for this page to be done. So while I was working, I was thinking about it and I do want to add Nightmare Before Christmas on the end papers on this end. And I think the end papers on the front end still need to be covered as well. So I'm going to do those off camera, um, but then I'll do kind of a wrap up reflection chatty flip through of the journal. I'm not sure if that's going to upload tomorrow or when that will come out. Um, but for now, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I had so much fun creating this giant gator mouth of a book. And for the most part, the black and white worked out pretty darn well. So in the meantime, I'm going to wish you all a wonderful, magical, and spooky day. Happy crafting. Adios.